Well, had someone request a story on the Dodges. This is my 85 Ram Charger. My aunt's had it since uh, August of 84. And uh, it was in pretty good condition until we moved here. Except for the fender needed to be replaced, which I did. Um, anyway, yeah, have turn signal issues. Had a ricochet go through the back glass. It just, it, it generally has not just been taken care of. It needs to, and I've got a lot of work to do to it. Um, stripped down, bare bones, ordered with a rubber mat, which I have under the house. Holes in the floor, no big deal, I can fix those. Uh, there's no gas in here, there's no gas in her, otherwise I'd try to start her. Uh, 318, 904 automatic. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, pretty darn stripped down. Had a headliner at one time. Uh, I traded a V. What the hell? Why's my window down? Fucking kids. Oh, that's right. I ain't gotta slam that one. Um, it's got a turn signal issue. The turn signals do not want to work unless the backup lights are on. Partly due to my fault, I wired something wrong. Tried to fix something. But, uh, yeah. I actually... In order to fix this truck, I bought that truck. Um, to cut, you know, copy the wiring harness and whatnot. And, uh... Well, since they're both the same exact truck, almost, so I'd go ahead and try and start the other one. It's also a 318, the automatic. I believe it to be the 904. I've not checked. Um, the story of how I got the Ram Charger is pretty easy to tell. I got that red Mazda that's up front for 150 bucks. Put a ninety, no, put a ninety dollar part in the distributor. Car was totally fine. Well, then I bought this truck for one hundred and fifty bucks, and now we need the Mazda back because it's a little bit newer than the Tercel. You know, parts are a little bit easier to find. So I'm going to trade this truck to my aunt for the Mazda because I traded the Mazda to my aunt for the Ram Charger. So. I got the Ram Charger, gave her the Mazda. Now I want the Mazda back, so I'm gonna give her this truck. And yeah, we got some rust in the fender wells. Some rust in the bed. Nothing too bad. Got a camper on it. Hmm, still some snow. Yeah, nothing too bad. A little rust on the hood, a little rust up top. But uh, let's see if we start. I also got a couple nickels in my pocket. See if I can't show you all a cool little trick. The only thing wrong with this truck, radio doesn't work. Shut up. Uh, heat's, the fan's stuck on one position. The fan, yeah, the heat doesn't really work. The uh, speedometer, as you can see, is stuck. And uh, the parking brake sticks. Nothing too bad. Uh, it. Probably doesn't do any good because there's no fuel in the carburetor. And that's why I love Dodges. I guess we have an exhaust leak.
Oh no, I see the problem. Huh. See if I can find that nickel. done it before. Video proof that it does indeed idle smooth enough to uh, balance a nickel on it. I'm gonna drive forward and back, see what happens. I think the transmission is still good. work great too. So one thing about these Dodge trucks is the brakes always work well. Hmm. Minus the speedometer, this truck is actually better than I thought it was. tell the story of it this uh, this truck is uh, also an 85 I uh, bought it from my friend and boss his dad his dad has owned it since uh, 84 I think sometime late 84 early 85 and uh, he bought it brand new drove it around um, and uh, it's just been sitting. And the only real dents are uh, right here, right there, right there, and right there. If you're ever in the Roxburgh area and you go down a road named Chow Blake, you'll see a curve with uh, guardrails on each side. They put the guardrails there because of this truck. Uh, he hit a patch of ice once one winter and uh, slid off the side of the road and almost went down the embankment. If it wasn't for some little trees about this big around, he would have gone down the embankment. So, yeah. I really like the bumper that's on it. It's really cool. Nice chrome set bumper. <laughs> the band that my friend and boss played in. See, he and his brother also... I think either did or tried to attempt tenting 
no, they did tint this rear window back here, but I tore it off because, well, there was no use for it. But yeah, that's the story on my Dodges. Oh yeah. That still works. That's it. Enjoy. Maybe uh, another video suggestion? Let me know what's up. Um, I guess I can do a cold start of that thing.